वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस द ग्राफिकल मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम फॉर अनबाउंडेड फीजिबल रीजन अ फीजिबल रीजन इज अनबाउंडेड मीन्स that it extends indefinitely in any direction we know that in solving a linear programming problem we have two steps in which first we find the feasible region and the feasible solutions then in the next step we find out the optimal solution for that problem if the feasible region is unbounded then a maximum or a minimum value of the objective function may not exist and moreover if it exists that is the maximum or the minimum value of the objective function exist then it must occur at a corner point of the feasible region Let us consider an example of a linear programming problem in which the feasible region is unbounded. Consider the linear programming problem to minimize six x. Plus ten y subject to constraints given as two x plus two y greater than equal to twelve three x plus y greater than equal to eight and the non negative constraints x greater than equal to 0 y greater than equal to 0 we shall use the corner point method to solve this problem and this method involves the following steps in which the first one is to find the feasible region we know that the feasible region is the common region determined by these constraints so to find the feasible region we need to graph these inequalities first of all let's name this objective function as 1 this constraint 2 this constraint 3 and this constraint 4 Now let us start with this first inequality that is this constraint we first graph the inequality for this first we graph the equation 2x plus 2y equal to 12 or you can say x plus y equal to 6 This line joining the points A and B is the graph of the equation 
टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व तो लेट्स सी इफ द ओरिजिन सेटिस्फाइज दिस इन इक्वालिटी सो फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इक्वल टू जीरो इन इन इक्वालिटी टू वी हैव टू इंटू जीरो प्लस टू इंटू जीरो इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व विच मीन्स दैट जीरो इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज नॉट ट्रू एंड दिस मीन्स दैट द ओरिजिन डज नॉट लाई इन द रीजन टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो दिस शेडेड रीजन इन येलो दैट दिस बी आर वन रिप्रेजेंट्स द रीजन टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व नाउ इन द सेम वे टू ग्राफ इन इक्वालिटी थ्री वी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्राफ द इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू एट दिस लाइन जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट सी एंड डी रिप्रेजेंट्स द ग्राफ ऑफ द इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू एट लेट सी इफ द ओरिजिन सेटिस्फाई द इन इक्वालिटी सो फॉर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इक्वल टू जीरो इन इन इक्वालिटी थ्री दैट इज दिस इन इक्वालिटी वी हैव थ्री इंटू जीरो प्लस जीरो ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू एट दैट इज जीरो ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू एट एंड दिस इज नॉट ट्रू दिस मीन्स दैट द ओरिजिन डज नॉट लाइ In the region, 3x plus y greater than equal to 8. So this region in red, say R2, represents the region 3x plus y greater than equal to 8. Now the remaining non-negative constraints, x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0, we know that x greater than equal to 0 is the y-axis. That is this, and the region to the right of the y-axis, and y greater than equal to zero is x-axis, and the region above x-axis. Now that we have graphed all the constraints, so we can easily find out the feasible region. This feasible region would be the common region determined by these constraints. So this region determined by these arrows is the feasible region. and as you can see that the feasible region is unbounded so thus we have obtained a feasible region say c d b and this feasible region is unbounded now first step of finding the feasible region is done then the next step we find out the corner points of the unbounded feasible region here the corner points are c d b c has coordinates 0 8 d has coordinates 1 5 which is the point of intersection of the two lines and b has coordinates 6 0 so there are three corner points of the unbounded feasible region point c which has coordinates 0 8 b which has coordinates 1 5 and b which has coordinates 6 0 Now, in the next step, we evaluate the objective function given by z equal to 6x plus 10y at these corner points. 
कंसिडर द कॉर्नर पॉइंट सी विद कॉर्डिनेट्स जीरो एट लेट्स फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ द सब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड एट दिस कॉर्नर पॉइंट जेड वुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू जीरो प्लस टेन इंटू एट एंड सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एटी देन द नेक्स्ट कॉर्नर पॉइंट इज द पॉइंट डी विद कॉर्डिनेट्स वन फाइव जेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू वन प्लस टेन इंटू फाइव विच वुड बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स नेक्स्ट वी हैव द कॉर्नर पॉइंट बी विद कॉर्डिनेट्स सिक्स जीरो फिर द वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू सिक्स प्लस टेन इंटू जीरो एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स फिर द ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड इज एटी लेट कैपिटल एम बी इक्वल टू एटी एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन जेड इज थर्टी सिक्स लेट स्मॉल एम बी इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स Now, since we were supposed to minimize the objective function, so this means we have to find the minimum value of the objective function z as the region is, that is, the feasible region is unbounded. So this means m equal to, that is, the small m equal to thirty six. May or may not be the minimum value of the objective function z. To check this, we graph the inequality 6x plus 10y less than 36. For this. First of all, we graph the equation 6x plus 10y equal to 36. This line joining the points B and E is the graph of the equation six x plus 10y is equal to 36. Let this inequality be in equation five. So to graph this inequality, we first check that if the origin satisfies this inequation or not. So for x equal to zero, y equal to zero, in five we have six into zero plus ten into zero is less than thirty six, which means that zero is less than thirty six, and this is true. Thus, we have the origin lies in the region six x plus ten y is less than thirty six. So, this region below this line B D is the region of the inequation six x plus ten y less than thirty six. So as this open half determined by the inequation, 6x plus 10y less than 36 does not have a common point with the feasible region. Therefore, we can say that 36 is the minimum value of the objective function. Thus, we have the region 6x plus 10y less than 36. Has no point common with the feasible region therefore m equal to 36 is the minimum value of the objective function z equal to 6x plus 10y if the region determined by this inequality would have any point common with the feasible region then the objective function would not have any minimum value if suppose we have an objective function z in the form of ax 
plus b y and this m is the maximum value of z determined at some corner point of the feasible region then to check if this m is the maximum value of z we will graph the inequality ax plus by greater than m and if the open half plane determined by ax plus by greater than m has no point in common with the feasible region then we say that this capital m is the maximum value of the objective function z and otherwise that is if the open half determined by ax plus by greater than m has points in common with the feasible region then this objective function z has no maximum value so this is the method of solving a linear programming problem graphically when the feasible region is unbounded this completes the session hope you have understood the method